Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Today is a very important day, the first of many very important days over the weekend. The Mega Halo fan vote choices are live. The voting has not begun yet, that's going to take place after the panel tomorrow. You can find out all the details about that on my previous video. But today we're going to look at the four choices for the Mega Halo fan vote. These are pretty insane, to be honest, and this is going to be a largely unedited video. Just me looking through the images, talking through it, like I got a lot of work to do today, so I got to get on with this as quick as we can. But th this is like actually insane, right? The first Mega Halo fan vote was voting on one figure to be included in Halo Heroes Series 16. This is an entire set, and every single one of these sets has named characters, a lot that we've never seen before. There's so much to unpack, everything is new, and this vote vote is, uh, I honestly don't think it's gonna be close. I think there's one obvious choice that people are gonna pick. I'm gonna try and convince people otherwise, though I don't want to sway the vote too much, like this is totally up to the community to decide. But at the same time, I know that the Flood is going to get chosen, but I don't really think it should. And I'll try and explain my logic behind that in this video. So, Mega Constructs have shared four different prototype images, or kind of rough sketches, artistic renditions of the four sets. And a lot is subject to change. I don't think you need to read into so much of what these images show. There's a lot of uh, speculation and a lot of things that you could see in the background of these images and then say, well, that's probably gonna be included in the set. These are only artist sketches, so let's take them with a pinch of salt. Four different choices. The voting is gonna be on Mega Brand's website over the next three days, and all the information on how you can vote will be in a future video on this channel. So if you wanna stick with this YouTube channel for all your Mega Constructs news, please do subscribe. We got option one, the UNSC Cougar. Option two, the Banished Reaver, option three, the Traxxas Tower Flood, and number four, Warden's Challenge. All right, we're gonna start with number one. Help choose our next Halo building set with the hashtag Mega Halo fan vote. Option number one is the UNSC Cougar. Our design will feature a large troop carrier, Sergeant Forge, and Professor Anders will also be included in the set. But who else will come along for the ride? Voting opens Saturday. I love that. I love that. That's such a tease. First of all, it seems like we've got insurrectionists firing at the cougar, which is just such a dope idea. You know, Sergeant Forge and Professor Anders would have been right in the insurrectionist conflict before the Covenant invaded. So it's pretty awesome to see insurrectionists there. I know this will get a lot of people thinking, oh, I, I hope there's insurrectionists in this set. While the sketch does hint towards that, I'm not sure if that's actually what Mega's going for here, though I do really respect the uh, whole idea here. I really would would love to see some insurrectionists, and if that was confirmed in any way during the live panel tomorrow, then I might want to vote for this set. But at the same time, insurrectionists can be easily be built from things like Call of Duty Mega Blocks, some Assassin's Creed, even the new Agent Lock from Halo Heroes, that's a good pop and swap. You know, there are a lot of ways to build insurrectionists, and nothing really makes a insurrectionist like stand apart from the crowd, it's just not really that special to me. So option number one, the UNSC Cougar is not my top choice, though I do respect that the Cougar is uh, just a very obscure design and something that Mega wants to bring into, and I, I think would they do it very well. When it says it's a troop transport hog, I imagine it would be a bit larger than this sketch entails. And if we've got Sergeant Forge and Professor Anders, I think it might be likely we have a Jerome in this set too. I mean, the 20th anniversary character pack had Jerome in, so it's already in production. And a lot of the 20th character pack is gonna be reused and recycled across all the upcoming sets. So I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that we do get a red team member in this as well. Though since we got Jerome, we might have a different member of red team. I would also love to see some kind of AI like Isabel or Serena, but this is not my top choice, but it's certainly looking like a good one. Option number two is when it really gets stepped up for me. And the crazy thing is all of these are so good. Like with the first Mega Halo fan vote, uh, the Spartan CQB was not a top choice for me. Sorry, Demarcation Media. But all of these choices are absurdly good. Okay, option number two is the Banished Reaver. Our design will include lots of missile launchers on its pod shoulders, plus Pavium and Moridus micro action figures. They have your back, do you have theirs? Voting open Saturday. Ah, a Banished Reaver is uh, not a vehicle that I've like been desperate for. It's not something that I've used particularly in Halo Wars 2 a lot. Uh, you know, Halo Wars 2 is a lot of people's favorite games for different reasons. Uh, the cutscenes obviously are just like, exceptional, but I've not played enough Halo Wars 2 to need a banished Reaver in my collection, but 
the fact that there's a Pavium and Moridus is, is what really sets this apart, what really elevates it. Like, that's two named characters, two named characters that I doubt we're going to get in another wave. Like, this might be the only time we see these guys. A lot of people are also speculating that in the background of this picture, you can see something that looks like Flood. It's not out of the realm of possibility that we do also get a Flood figure in this set. But Mega always talks about budgeting with new molds, how they can only do so many at once. So if we're already getting two Banish Leaves, Leaders, I don't think it's likely we also get a flood combat form though It's again not out of the realm of possibility and this does look phenomenal uh, Mega wanted to emphasize that there are a lot of missiles that go into this thing the chain gun looks great uh, it, it does look like a quality set. I'm more just invested in the banished brutes I want as many banished faction leaders as possible like we need our Jago Adomni We need a new Atriox figure so to have both of these from awakening the nightmare might also lead into the possibility of having some more Awakening the Nightmare sets, or any Awakening the Nightmare sets. We've never had any. So it would be really dope to see this Banished Reaver. Uh, the Banished Red would do it proud, and it would take center stage alongside all of the other Banished vehicles we got. We have got a lot now. We're still waiting for that Banished Phantom and many others from Infinite, but this might be a cool callback to Halo Wars too. And uh, again, just like I've seen Matty Craft's customs of Pavia Memoridus, like... I would really love to see them in a set. It's a very hard decision here. I've already made up my mind kind of on which set I'm gonna be pushing for and we're gonna to get to that soon. So that's option number two, and then we're on to number three. Option three, Trexus Tower Flood. Our design will come packed with detail and lots of flood. We'll even include a legendary vehicle. If you love the flood, this is the set for you. There are more detailed descriptions of this on Instagram as well, so you can read up more about these set designs on Instagram. These are the ones I pulled from Twitter, and uh, the legendary vehicle the fact that this is actually a set based on Floodgate, which is so dope. Like two or three days ago, I was saying we need more campaign mission based sets. And here we are literally based off one of the best missions in Halo, Floodgate. And we've got the Master Chief in some kind of shipping container. I imagine that shipping container will be reused from the Call of Duty line. That's uh, pretty guaranteed, I think. And then the structure will be really great. It's conflicting for me because I'm always the guy who's pushing for more structures in Halo. Uh, yet I don't want this set to win. I don't know, man. It's just the Master Chief. We've got a lot of Flood there, but the only thing we're probably going to see new is a Flood Combat form. And here's the thing, the Flood were in the Mega Halo fan vote as a Halo hero. Mega's clearly going to make a Flood set, right? And I don't see anything in this. The legendary vehicle might be a forklift, which is great, but we can also buy forklifts from other Mega Constructs lines. Like, I don't want my fan vote wasted on just like a forklift. Uh, and especially people like G Customs Creations on Instagram, he's really pushing for this, I'm sure. Just one Flood Combat form versus the offerings from the other sets is not enough for me. Yeah. Oh look, another green vehicle. <laughs> exactly, the Cougar is just another green vehicle. I know. Am I gonna trade those legendary characters for a Flood Combat form? No, I'm not. And the fact that this comes with a Chief as well, if it came with maybe an Arbiter with high levels of detail, I might be in. If it came with a Johnson fighting the Flood, if it came with even a Miranda Keys, but this is just a Chief against some flood and uh, a, a basic, if not probably a very cool set design. Like I would love to see more flood gate sets, like more level design sets, but this is not the time for me. I need a flood combat form the articulation, but I don't need it that much. I'm gonna vote for option four, Warden's Challenge. This thing is everything to me, right? I have been campaigning for a Warden Eternal figure since Halo 5 Guardians, I think it's so shocking that we've never had one. I get it because it probably costs a lot to make. I was always thinking they were going to make an upscaled Warden Eternal similar to the Didact, where it's one molded figure. This looks like a buildable Warden. And I know buildable kind of like knocks people off. They're like, well, they look at the buildable Master Chief and they're like, I don't want that. I think this would be different. A lot of molding, a lot of really exceptional detail, and the Warden's Sword. Right, so option number four, Warden's Challenge. Our design would intro a larger action figure, the Warden Eternal, plus a Cortana micro action figure with new deco. Deco? 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 Deco. Decorate. Do you dare turn on Master Chief? Voting open Saturday. This is the one, guys. This is the set. I'm campaigning for this one hardcore. The fact that we get a Cortana molded after Halo 5, like they're confirming it's a new mold Cortana. We're gonna get a cool, you know, Halo 5 uh, Chief. It'll probably be pretty basic. But the Halo 5 Cortana with new molding is dope. But a Warden Eternal. And if this set- Warden Eternal. A Warden Eternal, man. Warden Eternal. I, I, I'm, sh I'm shocked by it. Warden Eternal. 
I don't think people are going to vote for this. A Halo 5 Cortana and the Warden Eternal. It's just guys swimming. And if you look in the background... It's just guys Guys! <laughs> I'm making a video here. It's just guys <laughs> making a video. If you look in the background of this set, you can see some Promethean Knights. Although that's the background and it's not been confirmed in the set, if this gets enough momentum, I would like to see a Promethean Knight included with this build, particularly just to compare to a Warden Eternal. But if we could get a Chief, Cortana, Warden Eternal, and maybe a Promethean Knight, but particularly that Warden Eternal, I think, hands down, this is the one. Like, hands down. There is an argument for each one, you know? The UNSC Cougar is number one. It comes with Sergeant Forge and Professor Anders and maybe another member of Red Team. Number two is the Banished Reaver with Pavium Amoridus and maybe a Flood. Number three is the Traxxas Tower Flood with Chief, a Flood combat form and a legendary vehicle, probably a forklift. And the number four is Warden's Challenge with the Chief and Halo 5 Cortana. There are a lot of arguments for each one. The Cougar would be dope, but it is just another green vehicle and we've, we're gonna get Warthog's coming soon like I, I don't think I need to see that necessarily if I'm talking about what I think is going to be exclusive to this vote which are we never going to see again right I think it's likely we'll see a Professor Anders again that could be a dope Halo hero if it's on the table Pavium Amoridus could be released in future Halo heroes waves too a Halo 5 Cortana I don't think they'll push for unless we specifically vote for this. The Flood Combat form will be made. Like, yes, I want it in this set too. And yes, once we get this set, they'll have the mold and they'll just start releasing it in blind bags and Halo Heroes and everything like that. So yes, I do really want this uh, combat form. But for me, the weight of the Warden Eternal and the Halo 5 Cortana is just about more than anything else. It would also be dope to see some Insurrectionists in the first Cougar. It would also be dope if we could see a Flood Combat form in the Banished Reaver or if we could see a Promethean Knight in the Warden's Challenge. But either way, guys, they are four exceptional sets. The news on all of these sets and the reveals of the fall 2022 line are gonna be coming out on my channel all weekend. So please do stick with this YouTube channel for all this Mega Constructs news. Let me know in the comments down below which one you're going to vote for. It's gonna be a really rough vote. I think, unfortunately to me, the Traxxas Tower Flood is going to win and I will, here's the thing, I'll be happy with any of these, but yeah, the Traxxas Tower Flood will probably win because people are just diehard Flood supporters. In the first Mega Halo fan vote, the Flood only lost to the Haunted Helmet because it was such a legendary thing. I'm so hyped for these sets and you guys should be too. Thank you very much for tuning in today. This was another video with the domain. I'll see you tomorrow for the Halo panel on youtube.com slash Halo. You can check all the details for that down below. After that panel, I'm gonna do a live stream where we talk through all the new set reveals for Fall 2022. We're gonna just just roll out more and more of this news and analysis down the line as more information becomes available. So you stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. See you tomorrow for the Mega Halo fan vote opening and the Halo live stream on youtube.com slash Halo.